Hey everyone, so this is my first video update um, on this pregnancy after finding out that we're pregnant with triplets. So stay tuned to hear about my symptoms and also my top five tips to help with morning sickness, nausea, feeling, all of that. So keep watching to hear more about that. First off, I just want to thank all of you so much for subscribing and your many, many comments. Um, I can't believe this channel has this many subscribers now. Um, I don't know, actually last I checked, I don't even know what it is right now, but it was around like 1600 and it's just crazy. Like I never really thought this channel would have that many subscribers. So I just first off want to thank all of you for subscribing and welcome you new subscribers to this channel and to um, you know just thank you for wanting to follow along in our journey and seeing what happens with this triplet pregnancy and that came about through IVF you know we struggled with infertility for almost six years and we did IVF and now we're pregnant with triplets which is just kind of crazy and um, so I thank you so much for just wanting to join in and follow that and kind of be a part of this community that's following um, this kind of amazing story, really. And I do thank you all for all of your sweet comments. Um, they just keep coming and I'm just so thankful for them, for your encouragements. You know, I haven't quite replied to all of them, but I've definitely been reading them and um, just so thankful for them and just, um, you're congratulating us, you, um, your words of wisdom, your uh, just validation and empathy and understanding that this is just kind of a crazy situation to go for you know six years with no babies and all of a sudden we've got three that are growing inside of me. So yeah, it's, it's kind of a crazy thing. So, um, and it's cool that even some of you have actually had similar experience, experiences. Uh, which is just amazing. So thank you for sharing that. Thank you for sharing, you know, parts of your stories in the comments and even for other people to see and interact with. Um, it's just wonderful. So I just am so thankful for that. Um, but yeah, I wanted to start, it's been a little while since I've done a video, um, but I wanted to get back in here and just get started with doing pregnancy updates and symptoms and all of that of just how things are going um, so far. So first off, I will start off. I am, man, I should have checked this officially before I got on here, but um, I know that I will be eight weeks on Wednesday and today is Sunday. So that's like seven weeks and four days, something like that. So um, anyway, I that's where I'm at right now. And as far as, first off, I'm just going to kind of go emotionally, just kind of how we're still processing this whole idea of being pregnant with triplets. Um, you know, it definitely does have, you know, like I shared in the last video, just that, you know, overwhelming, shocked and scary type feelings that come along with it because, you know, we are now high risk and there's, you know, chances of complications are higher now. And we now are, are facing the likelihood of, you know, significant time in the NICU. And, um, you know, who knows, you know, we don't know really, but you know, those are just some things that we're facing that, and really people can face that even with a singleton pregnancy, but, with triplets, you know, a lot of these things are pretty certain you're going to be facing. You know, I'm not going to make it full term. Um, I think around, they sometimes say around 32 weeks. I mean, it really depends on the person, but that you, you know, make it around 32 weeks. So that's pretty early. Um, so, yeah, um, you know, there's definitely um, just, you know, th more things to think about, I guess, and potentially worry about. Um, but also at the same time, we are so thankful and so grateful that, 
Um, you know, we have this pregnancy that can, you know, hopefully give our kids siblings, you know, healthy um, siblings that they can have, um, you know, where, because we might not be able to ever get pregnant again, you know, and this might be our only pregnancy. So to be able to already have siblings um, is just a huge, huge blessing. And we are very thankful for that. And we are thankful for the support that we have from my family and Casey's family and friends. And we know that we're not alone in it. Um, there's even, you know, support groups in the area of, you know, moms of multiples and stuff like that. So um, there's also lots of people at our church that have babies. So even just people saying that they have some stuff that, you know, we could use is just, and even giving me maternity clothes and stuff like that. So I'm just so thankful that, you know, we're not in this alone, basically. So I wanted to say that. And also, I think there is this, this cool thing that God is revealing to me too, is just that this, this pregnancy, and really any pregnancy is this way, but this triplet pregnancy kind of makes it more tangible, almost just like we, I used to talk about, you know, the infertility struggle, is that it makes this more tangible of this realization that I'm not in control. And, um, you know, it's hard to not try to grasp for those straws of, of control and, you know, try to, you know, think about all the possibilities and all of that and not that, you know, planning and preparing is definitely what we need to do, but also just surrendering it, planning and preparing it with open hands and just trusting that God is going to be with us in no matter what happens. And he's the one that can sustain these babies inside of me. Um, you know, I can do the best I can just to care for myself, listen to my doctors, trust my doctors, um, you know, feed my body, you know, all of that. And just, you know, trust that, um, that he is in control at the end of the day. And that's where my peace and my security can come from because, you know, it, it is uncertain. It's definitely uncertain. Um, so, and really this whole life is uncertain, but I'm thankful that I have that solid foundation and that certainty in Christ that I can, that I can go to and I can lean on and I can trust in and I can, that he's there for me no matter what no matter what I'm going through. So anyway, I just wanted to say that that's also just been, you know, I think that word surrender has been kind of this word that's popped up for me um, a lot as I'm thinking about this and praying about it and talking to people about it. So wanted to share that with you guys. But I do want to share about my symptoms. So currently I'm feeling pretty good. So I'm thankful for that. Um, sorry, I'm, it's kind of hot in here. So I'm getting a little sweaty. I don't know if that's pregnancy, but it is It is still hot. We live in um, the South, and even though it's September, it's hot still, so that's just part of it. But, um, but anyway, I do wanna start off with, so the last video, I think I was like six weeks in one day, and I was talking about that I had started to get that nausea, um, those nausea feelings coming. And I definitely have continued to have that since then. So I feel like it kind of hit at that six week mark. And some days are better than others. And, but it definitely, at least, at least some point during the day it hits me. And sometimes it's typically more in the morning and then sometimes like in the afternoon or something like that. Um, it's not really that bad. I will say it's pretty mild, I guess. Um, I don't really have anything to compare it to to another pregnancy, but I'm not like throwing up. I'm not actually throwing up, but I do feel that queasiness and kind of that just, I'm not feeling well. And, you know, sometimes I just have to lay down for a little bit and then I, that can be helpful. But I also have been doing some things that have been really helpful. So I do want to tell you about that. Um, and for me, I'll break it down to five things that have been helpful. So my top five things that has been helpful for me for nausea during pregnancy. So um, number one is crackers. <laughs> so some kind of bland, I guess, kind of carby thing to just kind of eat in the morning. Um, and I, my go-to has been like salting crackers. Um, so that's number one, I would say. Um, number two is, um, like seltzer water or, um, you know, 
bubbly water. Uh, I know some people do like sodas, like ginger ale or something, but I, I try to stay away from just how much sugar is in those. So I get the um, just soda water, like a lime flavor um, soda water. That's been really helpful. And actually, I didn't really start that at the beginning. And then I started doing that, and I feel like that's been something that's helped me a lot. Um, usually, I, I have that in the morning with the crackers, and that's been so helpful. Um, so number three, I would say it's um, ginger tea as well. That has definitely been helpful. Um, so just, I've, I've just gotten some, you know, packs of ginger tea. Um, so yeah, go for that. It's been super helpful. Um, another thing I would say is number four, I would say is for me kind of staying away from those foods that I'm like, I know I'm not going to feel well if I eat that. And I don't know, it's just, I don't know if it's just instinct or just, I don't know, just thinking about what it tastes like. I'm just like, I, I really just can't eat that. And it's kind of hard because I'm a foodie for sure. My husband and I love food, love to try new foods, love international foods. Um, you know, just creative foods, unique foods. Um, we'll eat anything really. We're very uh, adventurous, I guess, in our eating. Um, and so it's kind of hard when now there are some of those things that I used to enjoy that and I'm just like, I just can't, I just can't eat that. So, um, so I think just, you know, kind of knowing those things of like, I just, I know if I eat that, I'm not going to feel well. Um, so, and I feel like for me, it's kind of where I'm leaning more towards blander type foods, not like staying away from spicy things or really strong flavored things. Like an example is like Indian food. Like my husband and I love Indian food, but that's been something that I'm just like, I just can't go there at least right now. And, um, you know, I just know I'm not going to feel well if I eat that. So, uh, that's kind of an example of that. And number five has been something I bought on Amazon and some of you probably have heard of like preggy pops or something. I don't know. Um, but it's kind of like a candy type thing that you can suck on that has some, you know, stuff in there that's supposed to help with nausea. So I didn't get those, but I got these and, um, I've only had these a few times, but, um, the few times I did take it cause I'm trying to conserve. I don't really want to use this unless I really have to just because the crackers and the salsa water and the ginger tea, all that's been really helping. And that's easy for me to do when I'm at home. But if I'm out, I have some of these in my purse so that if I'm starting to feel kind of queasy, kind of off, kind of unsettled, then I can just pop one of these and I'm good to go. And they have been really helpful. They have B6 in them. And they also are really pure because some of the other um, ones I've seen have like um, corn syrup in them and just you know, more of that refined artificial type sugar because they are like a candy. And these do, they have organic cane sugar, sugar and they have organic brown rice syrup. So those are the sweeteners in it. And then it has organic ginger powder and vitamin B6. So that's a big thing, yeah, that's supposed to help with the nausea. And they also have like mango flavor for this one. But it's a very subtle, mild flavor. It's not very strong, but it's, when I have taken it, it's been helpful, so. I would definitely recommend this. I will link it below so you will be able to find it yourself because there are a lot of things out there like this, but I really wanted to find a really pure one, a really more natural type one. So this one from Pink Stork is really good. So um, other symptoms, so I covered nausea. Other symptoms is my smell has been uh, more sensitive. Um, it's not like where I smell stuff and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so overpowering and I feel sick now. It's just, I know that my smell is stronger now because even like I'll be talking to my husband and be like, you smell that? And I'm like, yeah, he's like, oh, okay, that's definitely pregnancy because normally my sense of smell is not very good. <laughs> so this is kind of a new thing for me. Um, so there's been a few moments where I've been kind of like, whoa, there's a lot of smells going on here. Like even go to the grocery store or something. Um, but... I haven't really had like an adverse reaction to the smells. I know I have a friend that just smells were just like really bad for her and really a big struggle for her. So 
I'm thankful it's not like that, but they, it's definitely heightened for sure. Another thing is, I know I talked about in another video about dreams, like vivid dreams, and I'm like, well, I've had vivid dreams before, and, and I have, um, but now it's like every time I go to sleep. <laughs> like, even if I'm just going to sleep for a short time, I have this crazy dream. Like, I don't really remember them. I think last night something I was running, it was like some mystery running away from someone, some bad guy, I don't know. Anyway, but I'll have some crazy dreams like every time I go to sleep. So I guess maybe that's what people are talking about when, you know, crazy dreams in pregnancy. Um, another thing is sometimes I still have struggle, struggles, ugh, I can't speak, trouble sleeping. Um, so like going back to sleep, like if I wake up to go pee, and usually I do that once a night. Some nights I don't, but usually once a night I will. And I have a hard time going back to sleep. So that's been kind of hard, um, but yeah, so that's been something. Also, I have had some, I think I mentioned this in, in the video previous, that I've had some diarrhea, and I have had a little bit more like since, you know, the six week mark, and even one time having some really bad diarrhea cramps, um, but they weren't uterine cramps, I could tell they were diarrhea, uh, diarrhea cramps. But then I went to the bathroom and I was fine after that. But um, but I have had a little bit of that, not every day, and um, but yeah, a little bit of diarrhea. Um, another thing is uterine cramps. I still am having those every once in a while. That's kind of been since the beginning. Um, so every once in a while, just kind of some, you know, kind of period cramps. Not really bad, but but significant definitely. Um, you know, and sometimes I get a little worried and I'm. If I go to the bathroom, I like look for blood or something. That's part of this whole process. I know that might be TMI, but anyway, um, and there hasn't been any. Uh, I've, had, I've had a little bit of spotting, um, just a few times, but it's been just light brown spotting and it hasn't, you know, lasted very long. It hasn't been enough to, you know, really even accumulate much on a, on a liner or something, but uh, mainly just when I wipe, I would see it. Um, but yeah, so that's something that, you know, I have heard, you know, and talked to my doctor. It's a pretty common thing. So, but um, just a few times I had that. So, so yeah, that's how it's been going since, you know, six weeks to now seven and a half weeks. So um, just how I've been feeling and what I've been noticing. And I will show you, I'm wearing a dress right now. So I'll show you just, you know, on top of my dress, I guess. Um, just that I'm, you know, I do have a little pooge, but again, probably most of it is, you know, progesterone and, um, just all the hormones and stuff, not necessarily baby because the baby I think right now is like the size of a blueberry, but those three blueberries in there. So I will definitely get bigger quicker for sure with triplets. So it'll be interesting kind of see like when I start to pop, but anyway, I'll show you my belly. So if you can kind of see, so yeah, it's definitely kind of poogey there. Well, all right guys, well, I will see you guys in the next one. I apologize this video kind of ended up being longer than I anticipated it, but um, I hope it's helpful, especially for those of you who are struggling with some morning sickness and stuff like that, uh, for things that have been helpful for me. Everyone's different, and so keep that in mind, but these things have been helpful for me. Um, and I will see you in the next video and please comment down below if you have other tips on like pregnancy symptoms and how to help with them, you know, especially with like that lack of struggling to sleep, you know, stuff like that. Um, but also if you've had similar symptoms or other things that have been helpful for you and, um, you know, to help kind of cope with those symptoms, I guess. So anyway, but I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.